everyone, this is Michelle Kane with Michelle Kane Photography in Actions, and on this video we're going to cover how to download your purchased actions, how to save them, where to save them, how to install them, and then how to reinstall them if you need to in the future. So after you make a purchase from the store and you complete your PayPal transaction, you will be emailed to your PayPal email address. Um, this email right here and it will give you a link in which to click and then you will download from here so here I've got an email with the four collection bundle and all I need to do is just double click this link if you have any problems with getting this link to work I suggest that you copy and paste this link into your internet browser here so I'm just going to click it and we see that it goes ahead and it starts the download right here and it's finished downloading and where my downloads are set to go is into my downloads folder and if you're on a uh, PC wherever your downloads normally go that's where you want to look now sometimes people will click the link and they don't see anything happening and they don't realize that the actions have actually been downloaded to the computer and then they end up getting a screen which I'm going to go ahead and make that screen appear here so you can see it and this is for troubleshooting. We're going to go ahead and just max out the downloads here. And now that I've maxed out the downloads, um, I get this error message and it tells me that it's not able to download my request. So what this is telling you is that either you have waited past the 24 hours that the email link is um, valid for and you try to download after the 24 hours or you've clicked the download link too many times and what this is telling you is if you know that you've um, downloaded within the 24 hour period then you need to search on your computer for the name of the actions so if this is called the four collection bundle you need to do a search on your computer for Michelle Kane bundle or um, you know botanical blends or something along the lines of the name of the action set that you purchased and that will bring up wherever you ended up saving those actions to that you didn't even realize that you were saving them so now I've gone ahead and downloaded them again they're in my downloads folder I've got three sets because I downloaded them twice or I downloaded them three times so all we need to do to install them is to double click if you're on a Mac if you're on a PC you can um, use WinZip I highly recommend that you get something like WinZip to download um, download your purchases but we've gone ahead and zipped our files using a PC so you shouldn't have any problems unzipping the file on a PC so in order to um, unzip here all I need to do on this Mac is to double click the file and when I double click it I see that it unzips the file and now we just have the Michelle Kane Forset Action Bundle now within here I'm gonna click this open you can see that we've got all four sets the botanical blends the the hardy bundle which has two different action sets in here and the caramel and um, within each of these files are your action files so in order to install what we need to do is open one double clicking and here's your ATN file for the botanical blends now you should be able to just double click this action icon file right here and it will install it into Photoshop so let's do that here we'll, we'll do it double clicking and it opens up Photoshop automatically and it goes ahead and gives us the botanical blends they're installed now let's do a different one let's go back into the downloads here and let's do caramel black and white we see that the action is right there and this is what we're going to install but another way to do it would be to come into Photoshop and from your actions palette here make sure that's open there's going to be a drop down menu click that and we're going to load actions now when you're loading actions you need to tell Photoshop where are they living on your computer so we're going to come into um, our downloads folder and here's our bundle here's our caramel black and white and here's the actual action so we hit open and boom it's in Photoshop for us very quick and easy so there's two ways to install double clicking the actual file or within the actions palette 
click on the load actions. Now, what happens if your computer crashes or Photoshop uh, takes a dive and you need to go ahead and reinstall your actions? Well, if you don't save them somewhere on your computer where you can readily get to them, you're going to have a tough time. And uh, so right after your purchase, you need to back up your files. It's imperative that you back up your purchase. So what we need to do is we need to go back in and find the original folder. And this is the, and again, my downloads folder here. And this is the Michelle Kane four set action bundle. And from here, we need to move it somewhere, somewhere meaningful. So I've created a folder on my computer just called Photoshop Actions. And I can just drag this physically into Photoshop Actions. And now, if I go into Photoshop Actions, there's my backup. Now, if my whole computer crashes, that's not going to help me because I'm probably going to lose this backup file as well. So I recommend that you either email the folder to yourself and keep it in your email um, somewhere in your email or you can save it to a CD you can save it to a thumb drive an external drive or if you use something like Dropbox which I do we can uh, save it to that so let's open Dropbox here I really highly recommend Dropbox by the way and we're going to open the Dropbox folder and within Dropbox folder I have a folder called backups now we can just take this and keep in mind if you do use Dropbox as a side note it physically moves your files so you're going to need to copy and paste it so on a on a Mac you can just hold down the alter option key and you can drag and it gives us a plus sign so it's making a copy of it it's not taking the original and moving it it's just taking a copy and I've moved it into my Dropbox and now it's available to me if my computer crashes, Dropbox is a cloud form of storage, so it's there for me if I ever need it in the future. So there's a couple of ways to back up your purchases, how to install your purchases, how to download your purchases. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. You can learn more about my Photoshop actions at michellecanephotography.com. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed day.